Python is extremely versatile. So first of all, Python is one of the very few languages that can handle numbers very, very well. Python is the, the gold standard and that people expect data scientists to know. Hi, my name is Melanie Chen. I'm a data scientist at Walmart. My name is Samir Ali, and I'm a data analyst at the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation. My name is Bronte, and I'm a researcher at the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation. My team has petabytes of data. <laughs> you have a thousand gigabytes, it becomes a terabyte, and once you have a thousand terabytes, it becomes a petabyte, and so we have around 10 petabytes of data right now on our drives. I would say key to us being able to handle really big data sets is our use of Python and cluster computing. And Python has a huge amount of flexibility in terms of interpreting the data, in, in terms of processing the data. Python is a great choice for large databases because there's a lot of support um, for Python libraries. Because of the flexibility and how easy it is to work with data, there is a huge ecosystem of open source libraries that were created by top researchers and top engineers just to make all of the data processing much easier. I mean, one of the principles I think in data science and in computers and things like that are that you don't need to reinvent the wheel every time. Yeah, so I use Python to prototype. If I have an idea, if I have a question I want to solve, I will use Python to load the data to do some simple visualizations. You can prototype something really, really quickly, maybe just in an afternoon to solve an actual problem in Python. In other languages that are also used, sometimes what will happen is they'll quote unquote fail silently. Where has this uh, uh, happened? Where Python will be like, hey, Samir, can you just stop for a second? You've, you've done something wrong. So that is incredibly helpful. It's open source, so anyone can use it. It's a great way to share analysis. If you've spent you know, years working on some sort of project and you have all your code there, you can share it. And it's a language that many people understand and have access to, so they could repeat your research. Reproducibility is really important in um, scientific research, and languages like Python make it so that other people can see exactly what we did. You know, I think it's very important to, to learn Python, or at least just give it a shot in terms of the, how easy it is to pick up as a language. It's on the easier end. As a data scientist, it's really, really easy to use Python to solve a problem. Python lets us handle enormous data sets really fast and is kind of key to the work that we do here.